Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Basement. We hey. are playing Super Metroid today. Ted has the controller. We are continuing our way through Zeebs, the planet. Uh, right now we are, are we underwater? We are. Don't shoot that thing that's holding still that looks like it's not an enemy. It's an enemy. It's an, or is it an enemy? Because we're underwater. Oh, with friends like these, who needs an enemies? We just made wall jumping a whole lot easier. My goodness. And a little more tedious. But it was pretty hard to do before, so. I made it a lot more tedious. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, so we find ourselves in a bit of a predicament. We're low on health because, um, well, because well, we... Well, somebody named Ted. Just <laughs> kidding, it was totally Peter's fault. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to... And now Ted's digging us out of a hole. We think, we hope. And uh, our goal right now is to acquire... Uh, there's one major power-up that we need that I know of. Ooh. More missiles and never... Never hurts. Oh, we need the super There's speed that, blast and up, we right? we are almost dead, and so we can't do that. Yeah, we don't have enough health for it. I learned in the last episode that that's where we need using to go, that jump can hurt you. I mean, does hurt you, not can hurt you. Uh-oh. <laughs> are those things indestructible? Basically. Here we go. I like that little noise that they make Keep when you moving shoot them. Like, on. I, I really, really, really want, like... That. That's what I want. Oh, yeah, because you can uh, stock up now. Oh, do you know how, like, my how much my heart just, like, got so relaxed? I, I... Ah, no, this is not helping, though. I wasn't totally sure of, like, your stress level before, but hearing the relief, oh. I'm, it gives me a good idea. Is that, like, quicksand? It Are those is. robots? No, this Mega Man? like weird flies. Are they worms or electricity? They're you decide cute. down in the comments below. Oh yeah, remember that? I do. I think we have one vote. It was a it was a push-ups contest, wasn't it? Like whoever lost was gonna have to do push-ups. Oh yeah, we had something and, like um, that. Eventually when we get enough votes, when it becomes okay, listen guys. <sighs> Here in the basement. We believe in <laughs> audience participation, and, uh, yes. and we're all in this together. Just because Ted and I are physically sitting on a couch in this instant that our voices are being recorded playing this game, versus you guys watching it a little after the fact, doesn't mean you're any less in this than we are. It's you're true. our basement dwellers, and if you subscribe to us, you are in the basement here with us, and we're proud of you. But we believe in uh, participation rather than just observation, and so... In some of our older videos, you know, when we were a little bit of a smaller channel and there wasn't a ton of participation, uh, we would sometimes ask questions or make offers to say, you know, that we'll have a push-up contest based on whoever had the majority opinion, right? Mm -hmm. So on this Mega Man 2 uh, episode, I forget which episode it is, we asked a question. Ted and I disagree on whether the little things that look like worms slash electricity, what they are. And uh, if there's more votes one way, then someone's going to do push-ups, or I forget exactly how it works. But, you know, that came out months ago, and, but we still stand by that. We stand by our word. Yep. We will uh, follow through. So, when those comments become statistically significant, did you fill up on health? I did. I did. I filled all the way up. Oh my gosh. So, we're, we're sitting pretty. How much are those big orbs worth? Really pretty. Uh, there's an item above you. There is, I know. Freeze. Um, we, you know, we, we will make good on those and until the, uh, like video description says something to the effect of this contest is no longer active or whatever, uh, then yeah. So the moral of the story is feel free to comment on old stuff. Uh, check that out. Cause we're still paying attention to that. It's true. We are still paying attention. We can actually, I don't like, I don't know how much you know about YouTube, but like, it's pretty easy as a YouTube channel, uh creator to keep up to date with pretty much everything that happens so yeah our comments come that, straight to us we don't have so you to see that right there yeah that means if you touch that you fall through so oh uh i'm just gonna oh. jump over that and <laughs> get our super missile <laughs> whoa super jeez whoa hey cool down there smoky smoky the bear <laughs> Only. Gonna, boink, boink, boink. <laughs> have you seen okay i gotta say this i'm as as longtime listeners and viewers of the basement will know, 
Ted is an avid Futurama fan, and I, Peter, am an avid Simpsons fan. And we both appreciate each other's show, favorite show. But that's just the way it is. Anyway, there's an episode of The Simpsons that you reminded me of when you said Smokey the Bear. Uh, Marge and the kids are at this, like, nature cabin thing in the woods in the wintertime, and there's not a lot to do. And they're yeah. looking at all the displays on the inside. And there's this tall statue of Smokey the Bear. And uh, a little sign in front of him with a uh, couple of buttons on it. And, and when you approach the sign or you approach the bear, a recording says... Only who oh. can prevent forest fires? Oh, those are Metroids. They are. We do not want to let them out. Yeah, please don't. How would you let them out? A super bomb would let them out? No, that's just like if you hit just any any laser will open What that. if you touch the wall? You're fine. Okay. But you don't want to shoot the wall. So Smokey the Bear says, only who can prevent forest fires? And the options are two buttons that say you and me. So Bart presses you because the phrase is only you can prevent forest fires. So he presses you and Smokey <laughs> the Bear says, You pressed you, referring to me. That is incorrect. The correct answer is you. <laughs> that is so funny because... Why do you think they want us to do that? We probably you. need... They to... don't want you to. Oh, oh, maybe to... To run and do something. Oh, oh. I bet I know. I snap a lot. That's how I think. Oh, well, there's that item to the right. It's I also how I get my that. kids' attention. Well, I thought maybe there'd be like a gray door, like a gray blinking door on the other side of the room, and you'd have to kill everything in the room before you could... Oh. Uh, well, it looks like uh, you know, we made it to leave. here. But, yeah. Is that so the only exit it. to the room? I guess so. So those Metroids are just there to scare oh, you. Well, oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. oh, this guy. This music plays for a lot of the mini bosses, mm -hmm. huh? Or all of them. We talked about how it was uh, chromatic, and then for three, and then a jump. Oh gosh, I am like using What's... up super missiles galore. Well, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Does he hurt a lot? If he hits me. Yeah. I don't know. He hasn't hit me yet. Yeah, I was going to really, say. really, really red. Like, you're doing flawless. Oh, he's moving faster, too. Yeah, he's getting harder to hit. You got five left. Well, you could maybe start using regular missiles. I mean, if he's, like, close, right? Well. <laughs> you get it now. <laughs> yeah, he's flying. There boom! Boom! Take that. Boom, baby, Guy boom, baby, boom, boom, boom. Way. How much are those big energies worth? 20? I don't know. And each block is 100, boom. right? Yeah, so yep. each a energy block is 100. You've got six blocks. And is there a reserve? Yeah, that auto thing basically gives you, like, when you die, it gives you one last hurrah. How does, how does like, one, one more 99? Almost like a fairy. Okay, so if we fall down here, we we have to like climb back up because that'll take us down into that other room. Will you just us. sink slowly? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like Mario Two tank up there. Yeah, but it will take us to another world. Don't and we don't want that. We do not. We Can, don't want that. Donut. I want a donut. Shot. Can you be a ball on top of that stuff? Yeah, on top of this thing, I can. I mean, on top of the goo. How else well, are you gonna get what through? The heck. I was just looking for oh, what? Oh, you got a super run? Run? Can you freeze the sand or something? Oh, maybe you can super run on top of it. Let's try that. Yep, maybe we can. Just like Jesus. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, he used his super run powers. Yeah, on the quicksand? You bet. It's in um, the book of uh, Second Hesitations. <laughs> that's not actually in the Bible. <laughs> that's not really in the Bible. Uh, now, don't get all political. Just because it's apocryphal doesn't mean it's not legit. <laughs> There's a book of second hesitations in the Catholic Bible, right? Maybe. Hey, so for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> this is an interesting thing. Oh, interesting. It, like, oh, well, a lot of people have different Bibles, right? So, like, some people Ooh, think that see there's... That? That's gonna psych me Yeah, out. don't fall Be down careful. there. Some people think there's 66 books in the Bible. Some people think there's more. Some people think there's less. Um, and, uh, you know, 
Yeah. Like lots and lots of uh, people have differing opinions. Lots of opinions. Why are you giving me a lots, fist bump right lots, now? Because we got an energy tank, bro. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, different opinions about size of Bible. I think there's 66. That's, I think, the... Uh, is that the most common view? I I would I would assume so. Are there more Catholics than there are Protestants? Does, oh, oh. Whoa, it's Metroid time. So what do you do? Freeze them and you shoot can them freeze with missiles? Them. Yep. I mean, I you guess had to, you had to used to shoot them with missiles. Yeah, in Metroid you One, them, you had to do that. But you can just freeze them in this one, and then you and then shoot them with your same powered-up gun. Are there more of those in this room? That's freaky. Well, the grappling hook also takes care of them. Anyway, if you're not into the whole like like church or religion thing or whatever, and you think it's super confusing that there's like 800 different brands of Christianity, know that like the differences are small. But for whatever reason, a few vocal people like to really get fired up about it. So even though it yeah. seems like we're all arguing with each other, we're pretty much all united on like the important things. And it really is still just one religion. I Can I say that? One, yeah. You know, would you agree with that? I would totally agree with that. You know what? Um, I love, there's a book that I love called Mere Christianity by oh, C.S. Lewis. Lewis. The yeah. wrote... Uh, he wrote Lion, uh, the, the Narnia books, yeah. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, and it, he talks about that very thing. He's like, yeah, there are some things that, like, you know, different Christians are like, yeah, maybe this is important, maybe this isn't awesome, important, we don't right. really know. Right. You know, that kind of thing. But for the most part, there are a lot of things that Christianity just basically agrees on. You know? Yeah. We uh, One of the very first series at uh, the church that we both go to that uh, my wife and I came to was called Trees. And uh, there, there was this concept that like trees have like a big solid trunk, and then they have like the substantial branches, and then they have like leaves. And there's a lot of super wow, that's not possible. <laughs> maybe in a maybe in a suit it is. Um, that like the leaves are like the super minor issues where, uh, you know, is it okay to have drums in church? Some people say yes, some people say no. Those are tiny differences. Um, uh, tiny like different leaves on the same tree and the branches are like more substantial issues where sometimes people kind of get upset if you are different <laughs> than them So like is it okay? Like does it do you have to baptize a baby? Some people think yes some people think no that might be a branch issue, but the trunk issue is like Okay Who is God? <laughs> you know, yeah, a and like Do we do we read the Bible right? Yeah, like, what, what are the core? like few things that are the same uh, for everyone who calls themselves a Christian. Otherwise, they're probably just not a Christian. And so you hear a lot of people argue about the branch and the leaf stuff. But really, if the trunk is the same, they're not different enough to like get all super concerned about. It's just a just another <sighs> thing. Good job. No. Oh, oh, why did it let go? Oh, man. So what do you do once you attach to that? You got to jump off it. Oh, that God. sounds terrible. This is just mostly annoying because, like, the when you land down on the ground down there, are you getting hurt? No, no, you're just it's sinking. just. Oh. Oh, it doesn't let me shoot. Gosh, oh, it's just that's quicksand is so yeah. frustrating. Do you know what this makes me think of? Uh, you know, it would be an awesome power up right now. Um, in <sighs> Super Mario Galaxy Two, I believe you get um, a power-up that's like Cloud Mario, and he has a cute little cloud hat, and uh, and three little, nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, nice, good, oh. yes. And he has like a cute little cloud hat, and three little clouds follow him around. And yeah. if you shake the Wiimote, uh, a cloud platform appears underneath him right there, Ooh. and he lands on it. And it only lasts a little while, and you only get three of them with the suit. Once you use the third one up, you don't have the suit anymore. Or maybe you do, but you just don't have the extra clouds anymore. Energy refill. Oh, awesome. Good job. Nice to know that that's there. Uh, hit start and see the map. I want to know exactly where... Oh, it's to the right of the save. To the right of the save right there. Okay. And that's okay. an awesome suit because it just makes platforming feel super fun and satisfying. They'll have you on a thing, like standing on solid ground, and then you'll see your destination sort of pretty far away. Yeah. And there's like near impossible platforming between there and your goal but uh, if you got that far without taking damage and then you have that nice job and then you have that suit with you 
then you think, can I make it with three clouds? It's close. It's a, you know, you can't tell just by looking at it. So you jump mm. as far as you can and you wait as long as you can and you make your first cloud and then you do another long jump and you make your second cloud as late as you can and then you look like, then you can tell, am I close enough? Can I do it? And the answer then is yes, you can. Dude, more missiles. You're yeah. rocking this out. Uh, I just find dude, that to be super, yeah. super satisfying platforming. Next time in the basement? Are you in spikes right now? I am. These were fake spikes right here. Whoa. That was fake. Wow. That was that was not cool, man. It's freaking me out. Can you do anything down there? Ooh. Maybe down there. Was that like a drop down into that the That is room? like yeah. secret room stuff Whoa. right there. This Whoa. This time in the basement. This time in the ba Ew. This is oh. the boss room. Okay, next time in the basement? Next time in the basement, we're going to fight this boss. Yeah, we are. Do you Peter, know what do you want to try to fight it? Is? Sure. I, we're close to a save and an energy refill, right? It's true. Now is the time for me to try then. <laughs> Don't All give right. me any Next hints. time in the basement, we're going to we'll fight see how badly I do this the first amazing time. boss. Mm-hmm.